Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Saturday, March the 23rd. It's the second week of Lent in week four in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalms 75 and 76, and Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 20 to 31. Now join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 95. Come, let us sing to our God. Let us shout for joy to the rock that saves us. Let us approach with praise and thanksgiving. Let us sing joyful songs to our God. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. To you, O God, we give thanks. We call on your name. Psalms 75 and 76, and please recite them with me. To you, O God, we give thanks. We call on your name and declare your wondrous works. You say at the appointed time, I will judge uprightly. Though the earth and all its inhabitants are dissolved, it is I who bear its pillars. I said to the fools, do not boast, and to the wicked, lift not your horn. Lift not your strength on high, and do not speak with a proud neck. For judgment comes not from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. God humbles one, and raises another. For in your hand is a cup full of wine, foaming with mixture. You pour it out, and they drink it to the dregs. All the wicked of the earth shall drink it. And as for me, I will rejoice forever. I sing praises to the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. All the horns of the wicked will be cut off, but the righteous shall be strengthened and exalted. In Judah you are known, O God. Your name is great in Israel. Your tent is in Jerusalem. You make your dwelling place in Zion. It was there you broke the arrows of the bow, the shield and the sword and the battle. You are more glorious and excellent than the everlasting mountains. The stout-hearted are spoiled. They have slept their sleep, and none of the mighty can lift their hands. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, both the chariot and the horse lie stunned. You are to be feared. Who may stand in your sight when you are angry? You caused judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth feared and was still when you rose to judgment to save the humble of the earth. Surely angry Edom shall praise you. The remnant of Hamath will rejoice in you. Make your vows to God and pay them to the Most High. Let all pay tribute to God who is worthy of our respect. God breaks the spirit of rulers and strikes terror in the leaders of the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. To you, O God, we give thanks. We call on your name. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 5, beginning at verse 20. Declare this in the house of Jacob and proclaim it in Judah. Hear this, O foolish and senseless people, who have eyes but do not see, who have ears but do not hear. Do you not fear me, says the Most High? Do you not tremble before me? I place the sand as a boundary for the sea, a perpetual barrier that it cannot pass. And though the waves toss, they cannot prevail. Though they roar, they cannot pass over it. But this people has a stubborn and rebellious heart. They've turned aside and gone away. They do not say in their hearts, Let us fear Yahweh our God, who gives the rain in its season, the autumn rain and the spring rain, and keeps for us the weeks appointed for the harvest. Your iniquities have turned these away, and your sins have deprived you of good. For scoundrels are found among my people. They take over the goods of others. Like fowlers they set a trap. 
they catch human beings. Like a cage full of birds, their houses are full of treachery, and therefore they have become great and rich. They have grown fat and sleek. They know no limits in deeds of wickedness, and they do not judge with justice. The cause of the orphan to make it prosper, and they do not defend the rights of the needy. Shall I not punish them for these things, says Yahweh? And shall I not bring retribution on a nation such as this? An appalling and horrible thing has happened in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests rule as the prophets direct. My people love to have it so, but what will you do when the end comes? Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, precious God, you are our defender and savior, and in your name, and your name is great in all the world. Raise us up to sing your praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And may Almighty God shine his face upon us. Have mercy on us and bless us, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen.